Hey y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Laboratory, and welcome to another episode of Free Farm Fridays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, shine them up and make them look pretty. This is generally the area I pick from, but this Friday I decided that I am going to put some fossils in the muriatic acid again, so I'll show you the ones I'm going to do. I'm going to do these three. I'll get this one wet. This is a very, very fine... Um, you know, compartmented chain coral. I'll get it wet here, you'll be able to see it a little better. <clears throat> there you go, now you can see it. So my hope is that all the brown will melt out of there and then, you know, all that chain will be left over, but we'll see, you know, it's an experiment. Then we have this very churty kind of one, like it really looks like chert right there. But then I have a lot of softer material in here, so I'm hoping a lot of that will melt out. And maybe some of this, you know, kind of gritty stuff in the top here. Here, I'll get this one wet too. You know, so this one's got very defined tubes on there. I think it's a syringopora. Um, but I want to see if I can get all that brown to melt out of there, you know, and get those tubes a little more pronounced. And then the third one's the same thing. This one I don't have as high of hopes for. It's much churdier than the other ones. So, like, where was it? You know, it just looks churdy to me, the brown instead. So I don't know if this brown is going to melt out of here or if it'll just stay just like it is. You know, hopefully some of it comes out and some of these tubes pop out, but we'll see. Like I said, it's kind of an experiment. I haven't really done ones in this material. You know, it's usually more like this limestoney material because I know that this brown will melt out of this one. So, all right, so let's get out in the garage and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so what we got, I got two buckets, and this is what we're using, we're using muriatic acid. Um, if you are going to let it sit in here for a couple days without watching it, you can dilute it. I don't dilute it because I don't want it to take three, four days, you know, I'm just going to hit this stuff hard for like 24 hours and watch it close. So I just do a pure solution of it. Um, and then another trick that I use is I found this little basket at like, I don't know, a Goodwill store or something with these holes in it. And then I just took a handle from a regular bucket and stuck it through the holes. So now instead of having to drop stuff down into the acid, like into take it out with tongs and stuff, I can just lower this thing right down into the acid. No splashing, no nothing. Um, yeah, so let's do that and hopefully we'll see some fizz in. I just lower it in slow just so it can fill up. Drop it right down. No splashing. Let's see, is there any fizzling going on? Oh yeah, we got bubbles. We got bubbles, so that'll be working. So like I said, I'm gonna watch it for about, you know, 24 hours and just see kind of what's going on in there, check it, maybe take it out. And then what you do to neutralize the acid is I'll have another bucket with water here and then you just put a bunch of baking soda in it basically. And then the amount of baking soda should be, you know, enough to neutralize the acid. So I'll take the basket out of this one and then I'll put it in that solution for a little while, you know, a few hours. And then I'll wash this bucket out and get rid of the acid and then put clean water in and another baking soda bath in this one, you know, just in case there's any holes and stuff inside of them when I pull them out. So I don't want to touch them and then have any of that acid kind of come out on my fingers. So I do like a double clean with the baking soda after. So let's let this sit and we'll come out and watch them and we'll see what, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I see a lot of bubbling. So hopefully we'll uh, have some cool stuff. Just a couple hours later, I'm hoping to see a very, very dirty bucket of water over here already. Ha, yeah, I do. So I'm just gonna lift it up just a hair. See what we got going on here. Ooh, yeah, we're looking good, we're looking good. We're gonna leave it in though. All right, so it's working perfect. You know, that's kind of what you wanna see. You wanna see that dirty water because then you know that it's all getting eaten out of there. So, all right, let's check them in a little while. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I kind of committed to that chain coral fully, you know, to, to have all the rocket eaten out of it. So a little sneak peek. Uh, you can see some patterns. But anyway, here's my bucket of water with 
the baking soda in it. I just have a big thing of baking soda. I always use a glove. You know, the, the only step I don't use a glove for is when I set them in here, and you probably still should. Um, but I'm pretty good at not splashing, but taking it out of here, it gets little bubbles, you know, from all the bubbles, that, like the gas that gets released when the, the rock gets eaten away. So I always use a glove for this one. So I'll just take it out of here. Sneak peek. Whoop. All right. We're not going to show you any more than that. So then I just let it drain out, you know, as much of the, as much of the liquid as possible from inside of here. Because the brown inside of there that, you know, from the mud and stuff that gets eaten out kind of turns the water really brown. So I don't want the fossils to get stained brown. And then what I'm going to do is just put it right in here. And I usually fill it up enough where it gets all the way to the top. There you can see the acid getting neutralized by the baking, by the uh, baking soda. So I'll leave that sitting there, you know, for a few hours at least. Um, and then come back and maybe add a little bit more. And here, if you just want to see, here's some baking soda. You know, so you can see that it's going to neutralize that acid. So basically what I do is, this is how I do it. I just sprinkle a little bit in and let it bubble down. And then I just keep doing that until there's no more bubbles. So, all right. So let's let this sit for a few hours. And then we'll get them cleaned up. And we'll get inside and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I got them all cleaned up. And this is what I came up with. So as expected, these other two didn't really do much. A little bit of this burned out in between the tubes here. So that's kind of cool. So I'll probably just spray this one with poly and leave it just like that. That's kind of a really cool, you know, really cool little slab of syringopora. So not much happened to that one. And again, not much happened to this one either. You know, I, I thought it was pretty churdy and it was, and that's why none of this burned out because it's just harder material. So I'll probably end up cutting this one actually and get some nice, you know, maybe a nice cross section out of this. Maybe I'll cut this one tomorrow actually, if you, you know, uh, tune into that video tomorrow. So then, so those two were kind of duds, but not, not bad. But then this is what we got for that chain coral. Had one side pop off on me and it must've just been, you know, a little bit less holding it together there, but very, very intricate patterns all the way through, all the way around this side. And I'll try to pick this thing up. So what I'll probably do too is spray a little coat, a little misting of poly on this thing when it's totally dry, just to harden it up a little bit. But I'll try to flip it without breaking it. You can kind of see that all the stone was in the middle and this thing was growing on it and all of it burned out. So that's awesome. So I'm gonna spray this thing. Ooh, it's tough to hold this stuff very lightly. But yeah, it turned out really good. So I'll spray it and I'll you know put it on a piece of wood just like that kind of, but. All in all, turned out really good. You know, that one makes up for the two kind of duds. So, all right, if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some awesome close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.